Okay, here we go. Even though it's running and driving now, the motor mounts have collapsed all the way because they're crunchy and crumbly. So cut one pass through the field and the fan is hitting the frame right there. So at Unclaimed Baggage, I bought some hockey pucks. Someone put a comment on there and said, use hockey pucks. We use them all the time. So sure enough, I looked it up online and it said they're great for this. So this actually will raise it a little bit, not much. So it could be the other side. Let's look at it. He's just blowing out Bubba Jr. He is uh, riding the jack around the yard. This side's going to go up uh, just a hair too. Not a lot. So I don't know what I'm going to get most of my lift from. I guess I'll put some metal washers, more metal washers on top of the... Uh, yeah, on top of the there. hockey puck. Hockey puck. See that. Oh, we got some new toys. Clean. I'll tell you what's really neat. I'm, I'm excited about this. And it's uh, starting to thunder. You know, I will uh, go ahead and admit, I've never, I've never held a hockey puck in my hand. Patriot puck official. This hockey puck. <laughs> Y'all came here to watch me work on this Willis truck and I'm like impressing my hockey puck. Now, this is Alabama, we don't do a lot of ice hockey around here. $3.29 and it was 50% off. This came from Unclaimed Baggage. It's in uh, Fort Payne. And I had remembered when I got there, because there's everything in the world you could think of is that, is that Unclaimed Baggage, including guns. There's several pistols and, and other things. But then I saw, you know, there's baseball bats, and, there were, and I saw scuba stuff, and there were hockey sticks. And I thought, huh, if they got hockey sticks, let me go ask Homegrown at the counter if they have any hockey pucks. I know, I still gotta figure that out. Somebody made a comment that says, somebody needs to teach that boy how hydraulics work. Well, I'll tell you something, I know how they work. One is in, one is out, one of this is on, or this is engaged, and this is not engaged. It's not tough. So, I was telling you a story, wasn't I? I love all the help I get from everybody that's, that knows what they're talking about. But every now and then, some people get little smarty pants mouths. So anyway, I asked Homegrown at the counter, I said, do you have any hockey pucks? Hey, look, it's got a flag in it. And he says, as a matter of fact, we do. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to drill a hole through it that big, ever so slowly, but yet quick RPMs so it doesn't explode this thing. And we'll see if it works. So now I'm thinking for a second. Again, I appreciate all the help. I couldn't have finished. You lot of, I, I learned so much. You can see the inspection plate. Here's what threw me off. A lot of people said, look in behind the inspection plate. You see it down there? Yes, you see it. And you can see it, the clutch is in backwards. I thought, man, that's, that's impossible. There's no way. So I looked in there, and it's impossible. There's no way. So please explain to me what you meant by that, because I don't understand that. Also, you asked if I had polarized the generator. Yes. Okay, now that we've covered the generator, what else did you ask? Everyone asked if... I know what you want me to do. You want me to do a completely separate video on how to build a shelf for a battery box, don't you? Because that's so impressive. Well, you need one piece of deck board and one screw and a piece of rusty metal and you screw it through there. I'm trying to think of what's next where I can actually pedal this thing around a lot. I did upgrade this tire over here 
to one that's not ready to explode. I mean, it's close, but it's not ready. My junk tire selection is wearing thin, and I told myself I will not spend any more money on this thing until it drives. So, take some guesses at how much money I got in this so far. Now, don't be a smarty pants. See, the hydraulic thing is, it goes up, and I can pull the lever back and make the, uh, and make this drop where I can just grab it and pull it down. But, when you crank it up, it goes right back up. So that means it's stuck in one of the other ways, right? I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to put this underneath the springs which I thought would be simple but I'm I'm think it may be a bigger job all by myself than I think it is but it might not be and I definitely need a muffler because I I got some serious issues in here look there's a wasp and a the bluest fly I've ever seen look let's see what happens when they get to know each other We'll flag it out. I also got in here and I scraped the ceiling because when you close the doors you're driving it all this stuff falls in your face. So you've got exhaust coming off the engine and you've got a gas can on the floor and you put that together with a few wasps when you're running through the field. That joker. And then you've got smelly issues. They give you a headache. Okay I got the old bolt out of the other side too. Now I've got to go under and jack up the engine and what I did was left the old one in the other side just barely screwed on so it wouldn't totally fall out of line because if it falls out of line then I got issues since I'm by myself well I don't have a drill bit that big so we're gonna have to kind of drill it and then waller it out but they're a little softer than I thought I don't have a uh, drill press either. No, it's not bolted down either. <laughs> I, was going, I was going kind of slow intentionally because I didn't know how hard this thing was. I didn't know if it would crack. Not quite there yet. Although kind of snug may be okay. It might hold it in place a little better. Because my plan is to run it up through the bottom. Although now that I think about this, I don't think it's going to fit on the other side. There's not enough clearance between that and the front differential. Yeah, this is going to work fine. This is going to be fine and dandy. Hard candy Christmas. Put our lock washer on there. We'll get that much more height, which I think is what we need. Because it's already that high, and I've only got two hockey pucks. It looks a little better. I raised it up a little bit. Oh yeah, we got good clearance down there now. That's all it. It doesn't really even need to be that high. Problem is, when I pull this top off, there's a the top squishy. And that one, see, I don't know if I should keep that or not. That goes in. I probably should have. I shouldn't have pulled that out. That one sits down in the hole. If that fell and smashed my fingers, I'd be right here. Turn my bride got home to and I could say, hey, can you uh can you jack that up a little bit? Alright, so I'm gonna push that back in. I'm gonna keep that piece. 
on there, I think. Okay, so there's my setup. And the only reason I left that little crunchy one, it's not crunchy in the center, but it seats and goes through the, uh, the actual mount here. So now I gotta put this on the other side and I think I'm set. Need another one of those though. We need a full squisher really, don't we? That one was, I'm on the other side now. That one was a little tougher to get in there, but I got it. I got a little nervous. Actually, it does clear. I got a little nervous because I had to raise the engine up so high. I heard some cracking and puffing and I guess that's okay, but I still got plenty of clearance down there. Before I had none, now I have like a, I think I got a couple of inches. Much better, huh? I tell you what I want, I want a, a, a plastic radiator. I'm not all about keeping this thing original under the hood, by no means. Obviously, they got a big orange thing. But uh, now I should be able to tighten up the motor mounts, engine mounts figure out if that is an actual water leak from the water pump going in I put a new thermostat in it I'm hoping that's not the water pump I'm hoping it is a hose with an issue and then uh, I'm gonna try to drive it around the field again okay the new engine slash motor mounts are in we've got gas leaks around that that's okay I can rebuild that carburetor because it's a little single barrel. Uh, I got a little leak right there, but it has not been leaking oil at all from anywhere. Okay, maybe back there by the valve cover gasket. We're leaking hydraulic fluid. And we're leaking antifreeze also. You know what's interesting, before I took this hood off, and I could be wrong, I thought I could take this off. This goes here and slides up and down when you raise the hood. I thought before I laid it all the way back. As a matter of fact, I know I did. And now, it doesn't do it. And I don't know why. So I put it right there. That way, if I'm working on their hood and I accidentally bump it right there, It'll simply cut me in half and I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm going to put this back on, get my blower, blow the cab out, and then I'm going to drive it. I wish these doors popped off like a uh, CJ, but they don't. I may have to bring out my little generator and put a big fan in here. Okay, I'm not going to do that. It's not the best setup in the world, but this crunchy little thing is still here. So we can put it up over this and then move it right there. Anyway, I gotta get over there, slide it down, push that back, and put this back on. We're gonna do that. Bring the bottle of water in case I get stranded. You ask yourself, <laughs> what is that big wet towel wrapped around that the paddles for? Oh, I need a piece of wood on here still. Because it's completely caving in. Here, let's get a piece of wood first. Here's my seat, I forgot it. These usually come stock in an old Willis truck. I believe it might have been only the 64s that it came stock. There are so many fumes since the header goes right down there and drops and blows out, it doesn't have a muffler on it. It blows every exhaust seam right through that hole. So a nice wet towel. You just put it back together when you get in it. Hopefully we keep the fumes out. And look at this. That's a neat option, isn't it? I remember it was there after someone sent it to me. So let's see. It's been a couple days since we I'm not sure why that sounds like that now. Man, you can't beat that. Three is up there. One, two, three.
me get you set up somewhere so you can watch. Uh, I 
gosh, I love this thing. I wish I could get every one of y'all that was a mechanic here right now. I couldn't pay you. I could make you a sandwich or something. All right, I'm, you may be sick of it by now. I'm excited. I may do a couple more laps. Okay, I got brave. I pulled that down to end, front axle drive. This must be in neutral still. That's low range. Let's see if the back tire is still full. Ooh. Back tires are still. Alright, that's neutral right there. I don't know why I keep pushing the brakes. That's low range. Back tires are spinning. doesn't work I'm back up here I needed to pick up those two things so now let's see if hang on, if there's any she's warm sure I got another situation too I cannot That one nut on that side does not tighten up. I'm assuming the fan was turning. It sure is hot in here though. But it is about 94 outside today. And I'm not exaggerating. That's, that's hot. I don't see any wires laying on anything that could be melting. So what's wrong with the four-wheel drive? A truck without four-wheel dri four drive is a van, right? I did it right. There's only so many options. But I'm okay with that right now. I guess I'm done with this video. I just wanted to show you the little bit of progress. That's too hot to uncap. Oh, fluids. I don't see anything, which is real good. The other day I added water to this as well as a little more antifreeze. And uh, I think I just spilled it all down there and it went everywhere, but it's all gone. It's bone dry right now. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. The charging system is working. It cranks every time right now. So believe it or not, all my wiring, including this regulator, is working. And I will let you know if that changes. Because I could just be running off the battery. But I don't I don't think so. Then I want to figure out if this works. If the engine runs, right, if the engine runs and that's driven by a drive shaft then that should work right unless there's issues in the transfer case and that's why the four-wheel drive doesn't work which means it's not going to engage the front which means that's not going to work i'm done with this video hey thanks for watching i'm excited hope y'all are too before i leave i remember someone suggested i pull the differential cover off drain it clean it everything before i do too much driving and i agree this is just going to be a field truck, but 
That does need to be cleaned out. It has some freshness in it. There's not a lot to it. I mean, if I was covered up with the with the green pa paper money, I'd be done. I'm just taking a piece at a time. That's about all the muffler I got. It works pretty good. Listen. Can't even hear it, can you? Okay, thanks for watching my video.